Namaste or Assalam Alaikum. Dosto, today we are going to go and review Pakistan International Airlines, Pakistan's national carrier. We are flying from Islamabad to Karachi. And I've flown a number of airlines in my life Singapore, Malaysia, Air New Zealand, Qantas, like the list goes on, like great airlines. So let's take this flight and let's compare it to the domestic Indian carriers that I know so well and yes this is the airline that crashed earlier this year they crashed into houses a couple of hundred meters before the runway so yeah not so good and that was upon landing in Karachi where we are going today and honestly from the reviews that I've read about Pakistan International Airlines uh, reviews haven't been so good to be honest but let's see I'll give them a fair chance We'll also review the Islamabad International Airport too because it's the first time I'm going to this airport. So let's check it out. Islamabad is the premier city of Pakistan and the national capital city as well. Interestingly, this airport is not inside Islamabad. It's just outside the border of Islamabad. All right, we're, we're just entering the airport now. It is quite big and there is tons and tons of security here there's multiple checkpoints you have to go through before you can get into the actual airport so I feel like it's very very secure all right we're here as you can see I have a lot of baggage mainly because I am carrying a ton of clothes in this bag for my wife I went shopping for her all over Pakistan and bought her a ton of stuff so this is international departures and the green area over here, this is domestic. So we're going to go that way to Karachi. This is the main terminal area where we're going to check in. There's more security here, tons of security. And yeah, we're just going to check in here. It's quite, quite nice, right? Like it's a very pretty airport. It's very modern, it's very new and this is the check-in area. Pakistan International Airlines. All right, I'm all checked in. There's always some uncle trying to push in in line. So, <laughs> in that way, it's no different from India here. It's always someone trying to push in. I just said to this uncle, I said, up con hai, line hai. He's just like, oh, I want to see if they're free or something. Here's something stupid. Anyway, let's go through and see what's available here at the domestic airport. Okay, so Islamabad International Airport, the domestic side, is very, very small. There are only a few kind of gates here. There's only two stores open. We've got this relay store, which always just sells overpriced crud. And then we have, I so hard to read this font. Bread, Bread & Co, some kind of cafe. I might go there and try find a chai before the flight. Uh, it's a small little airport. On the other side, the international side, you do have McDonald's, KFC, all that kind of stuff. And it does look quite nice. I can see the nice lounge chairs over there. And so to spice things up, I decided to fly executive class for the first time in my life. I've never flown anything but economy, but today, let's try out executive. It's not even uh, premium economy, I don't think. It's not even up to that standard. But Let's see and compare it to economy as well. So I can definitely say the airport is very clean. It's very clean, very professional. And yeah, it's, it's just a nice airport. It's comfortable. That's our airplane out there, Pakistan International Airlines. So the first strange thing is we're boarding, but they don't board the executive customers first everybody boards at the same time. That doesn't really happen on other airlines. We're boarding now. One of the first big differences is nobody has to wear a face shield or those PVC suits if you're sitting in the middle. I've seen one person wearing them, but I think, I think he might have been Chinese and he might have just been, you know, just wearing it on his own accord. But yeah, you don't have to wear a face shield. Probably have to wear a mask, but everyone's wearing a mask. But yeah, a bit different to India where there's a few more protections, I think, with the face shield. Whether it makes a difference, I don't actually know, though. As 
So this is executive class and I guess there's a bit more room, like there's more room for my feet for sure. It's good if you're tall, right? And there's a bit more room on each side of the seat, like it's a slightly bigger seat than economy and you do have, there's no one sitting in the middle for example, so you get that little bit of extra space as well. But I was expecting, you know, like more kind of plush and you know, those kind of leather seats when you're paying this price. These seats aren't so different to economy, they just have a little bit more extra leg room and room on the sides too. And economy looks exactly the same, just less room, that's all, and more people. We are halfway through the flight now from Islamabad to Karachi and we're flying from basically the north down to the south, crossing, I don't know, it must be like 75% of Pakistan. We're going all the way to the beach, to the water. And there's not much to see out the window. It is really desolate. It's mainly desert out there and basically no signs of life. Not much water, a lot of mountains and yeah, just tons of sand, tons of desert. Nothing really, so it's not really inhabited. There's a large part of Pakistan which is just desert and not many people there. And disappointingly, there's no food on flights at the moment. Because of COVID, like, I was expecting to have, you know, an upgraded meal or something from flying this executive class, but no meal. So I'm, I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. There's, there's just nothing. Like, where's the benefit, you know, for paying more? You get half a seat more. Yeah, I have two seats next to me, but that's because no one's buying these seats. So, yeah, you, you get about half a seat more in, in space and some, some more leg room and honestly, that's about it. Welcome to Karachi. It is 27 degrees outside, so much warmer than where I've been in Islamabad, Peshawar. That's nice. And the only one benefit is you get to get off the flight before everybody else. And a little bit of legroom, so I don't really think it's worth anything paying for the executive class. Like, yeah, there, there's no real benefit to it. Just, just save your money and go for economy. But the flight was very, very good. Like, no complaints at all besides no food, but you know, I'm sure that's government regulation or something. And the staff are really sweet, really professional. Like, just nothing happened on the flight. So that's a good thing, right? Like, it was a nice, easy flight. And yeah, I enjoyed the service. And if we're gonna compare it to Indian Airlines, I think the only difference is there is food and they give you a face shield and someone in the middle row wears a PPE suit. That's the only difference. Service and all is pretty similar. And yeah, Pakistan International Airlines was fine. No issues there. This is Jinnah International Airport. And as you can see, it's quite a lot different from Islamabad. It's, you know, far less modern, a lot older, but this is a huge, huge old city. Assalamu alaikum Karachi. It's so nice to be here. And you guys know I'm here because last time so many of you guys said, why didn't you come to Karachi? So here I am, I'm in Karachi because of what you guys said. I listened to your comments. Oh, now we're getting out to the rickshaw drivers. Let's walk through and kind of see what happens. Nietzsche Yeji. Nietzsche Yeji works here too, of course. So no issues with touts and now I'm going to go and get some food actually. I'm damn hungry. 